Hello, can you hear me well? What are you listening to? You just arrived from school? Yes. So you haven't eaten your dinner yet? Mm, no. <laughs> no, so okay, let's just start our lesson today so that you can eat now, okay? Are you ready for our lesson? Yes. All right. So can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay. So the last time we stopped at page page 99 which we read a story, right? Do you still remember the story, the football club? Yes. Yeah, so Okay, for our next activity, this one, listen and tick the boxes. So, you listen to each of the sports that teacher will say and let me know if she is happy or sad with the sports that I said, okay? Yes. Okay, let's start with Jenny. So, can you can you read the first sport? Football. Football. So, do you think Jenny is happy playing with football or not? Not. Not. Okay, let's put check here. Okay, for the next one, can you read this, please? Tennis. Okay, tennis. So, is Jenny happy playing with tennis or not? Mm, yes. Yes. So, let's put check in the happy face part. Okay, how about the third one? Swimming. Swimming. So is Jenny happy when she is swimming or not? Yes. Yes. Okay. So how about the next one? The next sport? Basketball. All right. Basketball. So can girls play basketball or not? Can play. Again? I'm sorry. Jenny can play basketball. Yes, Jenny can play basketball. So let's put check here in the happy face part. How about the next one? Volleyball. Volleyball. So can Jenny play volleyball or not? Not. Not. Okay, how about the last one? Can you read the last one? No? <clears throat> mm. Athletics. Athletics. Okay. Okay, so now... Okay, can hello. Is that your brother? <laughs> yes. 
So are you good now, Ngoc? All right. So can you say the word athletics? Athletic. Okay. So can Jenny play athletics or not? Mm. Athletics like running. Not. Not. Okay. So here. Now write about your class and make a bar chart. So can you please read this part in our class up to this sport is tennis. Okay, start. In your class. There are. There are. Ten. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Children. Children. Okay. Um. Okay, so here, the sports, athletics, table tennis, tennis, swimming, football, there are 22 children that loves to play these sports. So, okay, proceed. Eight. Eight children. Is favorite. favorite sport is swimming. Okay, can you repeat it again? Eight children's favorite sport is swimming. Eight children's favorite sport is swimming. Okay, so here is the swimming, the red, the red one. So in this chart, there are eight children who loves to swim. So how about the next one? Seven. Seven children. Uh, favorite spot is football. Okay, so here, here is the football, the green one. So there are seven children who loves to play football. Okay, how about the next one, next sport? Three. Three children favorite sport athletics. Yes. Three children's favorite sport is athletics. So athletics in the bar chart is the orange part. So there are three children who loves to play athletics. Okay, next. Two children favorite sport table tennis. Yes, so here, table tennis, so the yellow one. So there are two children who loves to play table tennis. And for the last one. Two children favorite spot is tennis. Okay, so here, the violet one. So there are two children who loves the sport tennis. Okay, thank you for reading it all correctly, Ngoc. So let's proceed to the next activity. Look and read, write yes or no. So there's a picture here that shows a playground, children playing, some sports, and there are... Boys and there are girls. Do you see it? No? Yes. Okay. So let's start in number one. Can you read number one? The children are in the park. So are the children in the park? Yes or no? No. No. So the children are in the, where are they playing? Playground. Yes, in the playground. So the answer for number one is no. How about number two? There are. There are. 
Chat. Uh, there. There are 14. 14. So, can you read how many children so that you can answer? No. no. Okay, no. So, how many children are there in the playground? It's 12. Yes, 12. So, are the girls playing hockey? Look at the picture. Are the girls playing hockey or volleyball? Volleyball. Oh, no. Hockey, hockey. Yes, hockey. They are playing hockey. How about the girls are wearing yellow t-shirts? Are they wearing yellow t-shirts? Mm. Yes. Yes, they are wearing yellow t-shirts. And how about the number five? The boys are playing baseball. Are they playing baseball? What do you think in the picture? No. No. So what are the boys playing? Volleyball. Yes, they are playing volleyball. So the last one, the boys' ball is orange. Is it orange? Yes. Yes, it is orange. So the answer for this is yes. Okay, thank you. So you got the perfect score. So I will give you four hearts. All right, there. I gave you five. Instead of four, I gave you five stars. I mean hearts. Okay, for the next activity, it's a new lesson. It's about breathing. Can you say breathing? Breathing. Okay, listen and read about sport and breathing write the words okay can you read this part up to breathe out when you do sports you often breathe a lot when you breathe the air move in and out you are put your hands on your teeth and see happen when you breathe in breathe out Okay, can you say the word chest? Chest. Okay, do you know where is your chest? No. Here. This is where Here. you feel when you breathe in and breathe out. Okay, so find out how much breath there is in your lungs. Write down how tall you are. Take a balloon and take a deep breath. Now blow all the air in your lungs into the balloon. Ask a friend to tie a string around the mouth of the balloon. Now measure around your balloon and write the result. Look at your friend's results. What do you notice? Okay, for this activity, we can't do it because it needs a friend, right? So let's proceed to the next activity, which is the project. But this activity also needs a friend. So let's just proceed to the next one. Okay, Can do you have any paper and pencil there, Ngok, or any coloring pencil? I have a paper in my uh, bedroom, my dad's bedroom. So what do you have there? Do you have any paper, in any scratch paper or 
pencil. Do you have bear? No. No. So we'll just I'll just give you this as an assignment. It's okay for is it okay for you? No, I have Yes, you can you can use it. Oil pastel is, is better. So listen and imagine, then draw then draw your picture. Okay. So do you have paper already there? Yes. Any paper will yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. I have a book. It's a money paper. Wow. It's okay. You can use it. All right. So, can we start now? All right. Oh, that's a big one. But it's okay. Okay. Imagine a picture, anything that you want to draw. And then, anything, anything you want to draw, like uh, your favorite pet, your favorite thing, or, oh, wow, that's cute. Who draw that one? It's you? It's a fox. Yeah, it's a fox. It's so nice. My, my, my teacher is, is your... drawing me. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so now... You will draw something that that's inside your mind. Anything, uh, a dog, a cat, or anything you want. Then after, you will tell teacher, Mary, um, why did you draw that one? Okay. Can I draw the house? Mm, yes, it's okay. You can draw a house, a car, anything you want to draw. Okay? Okay. So, I will give you time and let me know if you're done, okay? Yes. All right. You can you can start now. Lock. Just ask teacher Mary if you have questions, all right? Just let me know if you're done okay or if you're confused. All right, okay.
Okay, Ngoc, are you still there? Yes. Okay, can can I saw your drawing? If it is okay. Yes, I have two or three minutes. Okay, sure you can. Just let me know if you're done, okay?
Hi, Ngoc. Are you almost done with your drawing? Not yet. Okay. So I'll just give you another five minutes. Okay. Will that be all right? Okay. Okay, hi Ngok. Are you still there? We only have few minutes left. Ngok, are you still there? 
Okay. So, can you please listen first to teacher? Okay. You're not finished yet, right? Yeah. Or you're almost done. Since we only have one minute left. Uh, almost done. Okay. You're almost done. So, we'll just do it this way. You'll just show it to teacher Mary the next time we meet, okay? Then, you'll tell teacher... Why did you draw that one? Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's time for me to say goodbye. Ooh. Wow, that's so nice. So you just color it, okay? Okay, okay. all right. Okay, so it's time for me to say goodbye and I'll see you the next time you meet. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening. And you can now eat your dinner.